So, notice I keep switching angles every time one of these videos shows up. Uh, what I want to do is just kind of, a lot of people are doing their top 10 most uh, hyped or like most anticipated film for 2017. I was thinking of doing that, then I decided, nah, uh, I'll just go by the months and look at what's coming out and then decide from there what I want to see or what I'm interested in. So here's kind of um, what I'm trying to see in 2017. Starting with January. All right. Uh, what looks good in January? Not a goddamn thing. <laughs> you know, you got Underworld, Blood Wars. We asked for that. You got the Bye Bye Man. You got Triple X. Maybe I'll see Triple X. I don't know if that looks semi-interesting. Probably not going to see Resident Evil. February. We got Rings. Oh, here's the one I want to see. Not John Wick Chapter 2. Fifty Shades Darker. Hold on a second. Fifty Shades of Grey was the funniest movie I saw in 2015. Hands down. Best comedy of that year. Uh, will I pay to see this? I haven't decided yet. <laughs> it, <laughs> if, if I'm going with somebody, yes, I'll see it. But until further notice, I'm probably not planning on seeing this in theaters. I'm still trying to figure out how they wrapped Jamie Dornan back into this, because initially he left. So, I do want to see Fifty Shades Darker. Uh, I need to see John Wick 1, so I don't know about 2. I do want to see the Lego Batman movie. That looks funny. I do want to see A Cure for Wellness, because that looks good. That looks really good. It's nice to see a new IP. Uh, skipping forward, we got March. We got Logan. Fuck yeah. Yes, I want to see that movie. Uh, it, looks, it looks good. I hope it doesn't suck. <laughs> I want to see Kong Skull Island. Probably give a chance to that. Same thing for uh, Beauty and the Beast. I'll give those two a chance. They look entertaining. They at least look entertaining. I'll give them that. Uh, I'm going to see Power Rangers. Just to appease my inner child, I suppose. Uh, I'm going to see Ghost in the Shell. To appease my inner child, I guess. I, I may see the boss, baby. It looks funny. Now we're in April. Skip, 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 skip. Hmm. April looks uh, pretty, pretty nothing for me. May, here we go. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. I run a podcast where we talk about Marvel movies. I'm kind of obligated to see this film. Alien Covenant. Oh, fuck yes. I grew up with Alien. I'm a very big fan of that. They're making another Diary of Olympic Kid? No. All right. Baywatch. It, it looks funny. I'll, I'll give, I might give it a shot. June. Oh, God. Captain Underpants. Grew up on that. It's just... The promotional picture I saw doesn't look bad, so I have... I have hope. Wonder Woman. Comes out the same day. The promotional footage I saw for that doesn't look bad. So I hope. <laughs> the Mummy. Looks entertaining. Uh, I think I'll check that out. I'm weary. Uh, oh, no. No, that's not the one who I thought it was. All Eyes on Me. Which, weirdly enough, comes out the same day as Cars 3. That's creepy. Yes, I I'm excited to see All Eyes on Me. I'm a big Tupac fan. So uh, I hope they, they do them justice in this movie, especially since I guess we're kind of starting a hip-hop documentary cinematic universe since we'll get the same guy who played Biggie and Notorious back. So that'll be interesting. Um, I don't know about Transformers The Last Night. It looks better in theaters than it does on screen, but I don't know. I stopped watching Transformers movies after the second one. Uh, Amityville The Awakening? Arr. Ha! The month that matters. July with Spider-Man Homecoming. You saw my reaction. Yes, I'm going to see this movie. Can I go see Midnight Sun? Uh, War for the Planets of the Apes. Planet of the Apes. I want to see it. I still need to watch Dawn. I loved... I really liked uh, the first one. But I need to, I need to watch Dawn before I watch War. 
because Dawn lo looked good. I just never, I just never got around to it. Sorry. Dunkirk looks good. I haven't decided if I want to see it yet. I may just to appease my inner Francophile, um, because it's set in France, a little partially. Uh, Girl Trip. Hey, they got they got uh one one of my favorite comedians in there, Tiffany Haddish. So um, uh, I think I'm I'll give I'll give that a gander. Plus I like Michael D. Lee's directing. I like Regina Hall. I like Queen Latifah, Jada Pinkett, Mike Coulter's in it. So yeah, that that might be good. I do want to see Dark Tower, the Dark Tower movie. That looks, uh, the cast for it looks good. We got Idris Elba and Matthew McConaughey and Jackie Earl Haley. Yeah, may, might get me into that Dark Tower series that I refuse to read because the books are like this three Bibles stacked on each other. Now, we're in August. What comes out in August? They're coming out with a nut job too. I didn't expect that. The Emoji Movie is also coming out in August. I, I didn't think that would actually get as much traction as it did. Uh, so let's go sub September. We got It. I may give that a chance. I don't know. I've been weary of It. I've been kind of avoiding it the majority of my life. So I... Uh, they're making a Ninjago movie? Oh, all right. So October. All right. We... St <laughs> wow. This month is starting off crazy. Blade Runner 2049. You're going to hate me. I haven't seen the original Blade Runner. 2049 made me want to go back and watch it. I just haven't taken the time out to do it. It looks interesting. Uh, makes me want to go and watch the original, which I'll do at some point. Kingsman The Golden Circle. Oh, the fuck, yes. I've been waiting for this movie. So, yes, I'm going to see that. And My Little Pony the movie. What? <laughs> okay. I'm probably not going to see it. Um, I'm just surprised that it exists. Or will exist. We're also supposed to be getting a new Friday the 13th, allegedly. We're supposed to be getting Insidious Chapter 4. Okay. Uh, I want to see God Particle, but I need to see 10 Cloverfield Lane first. I know they're not connected. Or probably won't be, considering what I heard about the first and second one. Well, the first Cloverfield and 10 Cloverfield Lane. But still, I just want to... Have some know-how. Uh, Saw Legacy is supposed to come out then, too. Yeah, we'll see about that. Haven't heard anything about production for that. At least it'll finally be done. On to November. Thor Ragnarok. It doesn't look like ass. It doesn't look like ass. I might have to look at it. Paddington 2. Ooh. Two weeks later. Justice League. Yay. Yeah, I'll see it. And on to December. Oh my god. Star Wars Episode 8. Yeah, I'm gonna see it. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm gonna see Star Wars. I loved Episode 7, but I haven't rewatched it, so. And we're getting the Jumanji movies. Sequel universe thing. Kind of. Um, it'll be good because uh, I actually remember seeing the casting call list go out for this because they needed a black dude. Didn't make that cut. <laughs> but they're, I think they're actually supposed to be in the jungle of uh, where Jumanji happens, so that'll be exciting to see. Plus, I love the cast. I love The Rock, Kevin Hart, Jack Black, Karen Gillan. I didn't know that Nick Jonas was in it. That was a surprise. But yeah, I, I like the cast. So, I'm going to take a look. Pitch Perfect 3. I didn't know that was happening. I still haven't seen Pitch Perfect 2. So, it is what it is. And, uh, yeah, that, that about sums up what I'm trying to see for this year. There's another movie on here. I, I don't know. I don't know what that's about. It's called Kidnap. Oh, well. Anyways, yeah, I think... I think that's uh, that about sums up what I'm trying to see in 2017. Uh, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and tell me what you guys want to see in 2017. So yeah, catch you later.